Thousands of Green Country High School seniors will walk across the stage at graduation the next few days. It's a big accomplishment, but it means even more to one Broken Arrow student who was told time and time again he'd never wear that cap and gown. News on 6 reporter Emily Bauckham has his story, new at 5. Good. Oh, good. From the outside, it looks like Kyle Keck's world is his wheelchair. I'm 100% dependent on other people. Kyle was born with cerebral palsy. He has no control over his body from the neck down. Teachers told him he'd never make it through high school. I have to have somebody scribe my answers, write all my answers down. I have to have assistants going to the restroom. But Kyle's world isn't his wheelchair. It's what's on his chair and on the walls and all over the house. I actually love drag racing. Kyle's been lucky enough to meet his racing heroes. When I at the track, I, I, it's like I don't even have a disability. Like I'm just hanging out with the guys. It's been such a motivation for Kyle. Um, they, they just do so much for him and and push him. This letter is from one of Kyle's favorite drivers congratulating him for getting straight A's this year. It was actually offered a scholarship to NEO a and which is where my dad went to schools. Kyle's actually postponing college, but that won't stop Russell from seeing his son walk the stage at graduation. Actually drive, technically. That's more like it, driving just like his heroes toward the finish line. If you think you're having a bad day, just look at him. In his cap and gown, a role model for his classmates, father, even race car drivers. Do not give up. That is my motto. Don't give up. Kyle's on his way to graduation at the Maybe Center right now. That's also where his dad's high school graduation was held. Kyle doesn't know it yet, but his favorite drag racer came to Tulsa just to surprise him tonight. We'll share that moment with you at 9 and 10. Emily Balkum, News on 6.